so fast. So furious. No, it would be furriest. See, Noob Noob's a furry, so in order to be inclusive, we'd have to be furious. So fast. So furious. There's one convention. She was we... a girl. She was into things. I kind of went with it. And you kept, kept going. You I kept did. staying on it. Did he dress like a fox or a bunny? Well, uh, an armadillo, actually. Close enough. Yeah. Close enough. So... We are Our Reviews Will Kill You, the furriest podcast on earth, number one with all furries. I need to shave my chest. We're huge, number one. Huge. And I am the man they know as Z, and I am joined as always by the slightly less furry than the furriest of all furries. I actually am kind of furry. Like, you know, I mean, I've got, of course, the beard going. The beard. And then hidden underneath this amazing physique you see it's in front of It's a second beard. You can is a second beard. Kind of like a, a sweater, actually. <laughs> this is a put up or shut up league, so why don't you show us what you got? Scott Keebler. Nah, I don't want to. You're, you're not paying enough for that. I'll pay. And the furriest of all furries. Of course. The <laughs> Captain Furry himself doesn't even have to have his own costume. He just uh, goes shirtless. I'm noob, Super noob. Moose. The man who's never truly shirtless. Never shirtless. Not truly. Got a lot of nipple hair. He braids it, actually. Does it just keep extending out it all really, the way? It circles. It's like a vortex. Concentric circles? It's like, what is consent, consenting circles? No. No, non-consenting circles. Not, well, that's not what all my girlfriends <laughs> said. <laughs> I oh. thought you were part of the non-consenting circle. Oh. Don't do that to me, please. I like everything in my butt. <laughs> so what is on today's agenda? Oh, Lord. Uh, do, do, do we have an agenda? Oh, yeah. There's always an agenda. Oh, that's okay. So Since you misplaced your docket let's read in your things. ducats. Let's, let's read things. So we're reviewing stuff because, duh. Um, but first. Is that what we do here? Is that what this sometimes. show is called? Occasionally. Our reviews will kill you. Um, so then we have some news stuffs, and that those are bananas, f- for real. Especially with the Dirty at Martinis. Those are disgusting, by the way. These Don't ever delicious. drink those at home, We just kids. enhanced delicious. them as well. Just no, made they them will. Oh, look, my little hot sauce is sitting in the bottom. They will give you alcohol. Little, beautiful uh, go- beautiful globules. Little, beautiful little red dablets of menstruation fluid. Ducats it's, of hot oh, sauce. It's delicious. If drinking could give you AIDS, these drinks. I think would, I should drink one of these once a month. Would give the AIDS. So I thought we were done with all the yeah, AIDS jokes. Yeah, I thought jokes. we weren't doing AIDS jokes for a while. Well, yeah. I forgot about that. You're oh, yeah. Um, anyway, so a Pottsgrove teen, that Pottsgrove is a place, I think, won a lot of monies, and he played a game. That's Nobody cool. Nobody in Pottsgrove won anything. We'll, we'll touch on that later. Yeah. <laughs> HBO Max got some doctors to, to play with them, so that's weird. I, I, I want a doctor to play with me. Andy Serkis is going to bring a whole lot of fucked up animation to Venom, perhaps, and then maybe Justice for Han. That's Nope, I wasn't supposed to say that. That's mm, for later. That's and then for later, movie Taylor. pass. Movie pass we'll, kind of we'll fucked up. We'll just call that a tease. Movie pass kind of fucked up big, and now people's are pissed. So uh, yeah, and then we're gonna review Once Upon a Time in Useless Hollywood, and then Shaw and Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw, Calvin and, and Hobbs, Calvin and Hobbs, fast Jason and Statham. furious. Calvin and Hobbs, not so fast, but very furry. Est. Also very furry. And One of o- Noob Noob's furry icons. And oiled up Dwayne Johnson and Black Superman Ninja Elba all on one screen together. It's news! For you. Good news, everyone. Ha <laughs> ha Nice. Yeah, That's remember nice. last episode when I was like, hey, I made new sounders for the news and they didn't play. Where are they from? Where's that from? You remember those now? You heard the good news, everyone. But where is that from? It's Futurama. Seriously? Futurama. Futurama. Come on. Ah, that show sucks, so... <laughs> Come on, get with it. I will fucking murder you in your sleep. Really? Actually, I might not even wait that long. I Can may your do knees it right handle now. the upward motion of that? Oh, what about my your knee hips? will go up fast enough to what fucking about put your you hips? in the stratosphere. My hip, not so much. Yeah. Stressure? How yeah. much tit sweat do you have right now? 
A lot. Yeah. A lot. It's like a fucking pool under my boobies. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's amazing. Jesus Christ. I'm still voting for you to go shirtless. But anyway, uh, our first news story is a Pottsgrove teen won some monies playing Fortnite. Of Ironically all games. enough, there is a Pottsgrove, Pennsylvania, which is not so far from here, but this T was not in Potts Grove. He was in Potts Town, a town that is actually much closer to us. I was told misinformation. Are you sure about that? Potts Town, Pennsylvania, buddy. Did, where did you get your research from? I don't know. I listened to it on the radio. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's Potts Grove. I'm just Potts trying Grove. to get just my am I, am I completely wrong on this one? We're gonna well, we're gonna fact well, check. While, while you're finding that, I'm gonna oh. go ahead over here because I have the lower Pottsgrove teen oh, wins so Potts three Grove. million dollars. So what you heard on the radio was uh, very wrong. Yes, but let me. Uh, I have I have the enthralling Kyle Booga Gearsdorf. I have Gears- the, Kyle Booga. I, I have the enthralling uh, announcers from that uh, that event. I am thralled. Like here, like Ooga Booga it's from two, Halloween one, Town. One. Crew still. Chubb as well, back and forth, and it might come down to a heel off. T Chubb dropping down. Whatever a heel off is, <laughs> we'll see here. Crew <laughs> got a heel off all the way in, and T Chubb goes down. T Chubb with the victory royale. Crew with seven eliminations and the victory royale. The monster performance at the end of it that could have just secured him hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe even over a million. Just that game right there Do they even yes. know like Dull hairs. what the prize numbers are? There's no way anyone beats no. him. Your Fortnite World Champion. No, he's just like Boom. How thousands. No hundreds of yeah. no millions Maybe of over dollars. A million. Millions of doll hairs. Three million oh now he knows the number. Now Richard. they know. Like the Is there an interview with the kid? No. I don't know. I'd never reached out for an interview. I mean, look at all <laughs> look at all the kids in the world right now. They're looking at their parents like, see mom and dad, Fortnite could do something for me. Yes. Meanwhile, mom and dad are like, no, you're still a loser. Move all out. I won when I won my uh, championship was a Blockbuster subscription, <laughs> like free Blockbuster yeah. rentals. <laughs> Not $3 million. No. Sorry, folks. NBA Jam. It was it was like it was a full arena that was like half sold out. It was was it in Vegas? Massive. Nah, I don't know where the hell it was. Because I was at that. Remember, I was at that Vegas arena. Yeah. With the hydroponics, yeah, and the strippers, yeah. uh huh, hydroponic strippers, uh huh, and AIDS, uh huh, yes. So that Baby, happened. We like to dance for you, but we're just too goddamn high. <laughs> what the fuck? I have no idea what's going on right now. Tally. So, so was the whole point of saying this this Pottsgrove child led lived child with this child yeah, mere well, child yeah, what was he sixteen fifteen yeah he's still sixteen ali- he's legal he's illegal enough to be tempting but he just, not legal he's he, not legal enough for us to interview him no he's just old enough to get a license and just won three million fucking dollars so you're saying we should kidnap and kill him for his money yes no because you wouldn't be oh. his how would you get the money. You're not his the True. beneficiary on his insurance you policy. You have to kidnap and kill his parents. Yes. And then you can go after the money. Mm-hmm. But what if we hold him hostage for the money? For and then the kill money. his parents. Just as long as we kill his parents. <laughs> yes. Scott just wants to kill his parents. I just want to kill his parents. Uh, Scott wins when he kills parents. Yes. yes. So is that why we are we gonna are we gonna kinda go talk to him or no? He's not old enough for us to talk we had, to him. We had conversations He's old enough for the Lolita Express. We had conversations about reaching out for an interview. <laughs> is he? But, uh, he's old enough for the Lolita or, Express. Or he's, he's too, too old, old for that. the Lolita Express. He's, too, he's, he's aging too out of it. He yeah. aged out. Uh, yeah, he, he, reti- he retired. He's going to take a nice flight with Bill Clinton. After, after, mm, I love to get nude. After many a I long year it. on the Lolita Express. <laughs> It's this great is... day to get nude. Okay. Mm. Wish you weren't so fucking awkward, bud. Yes. Yes. That is, is Pottsgrove like in the hillbilly country? I don't know where that is. It's, I think it's in Chester County. Yeah, I know where I knew where Pottstown was. I forget where Pottsgrove is. That does not. I know help it's for not me. too far away. <laughs> Chester County does not help you. It's it's, no. it's it's local for us in our Philadelphia listing area. Not so much for if you're our in London. Good luck. European listing area. It is it is not near Westchester. Yeah. Or East it, Bennington. It, they have a very different Westchester. Yes. 
Do they call it Chester or Chester? It's Chester. Chester. West Chester. The only <laughs> Chester I knew was my next door neighbor, and he liked to look at my mom in the pool. I thought you were uh, talking about your chest hair. No, Chester the Molester was his nickname. Chest um, hair. <laughs> molest hair. Chest hair, molest hair. He had a lot of hairs, for sure. <laughs> Did uh, he give he them had, to you? He had those Ted Bundy glasses, too. They were fierce. For sure. What are Ted Bundy glasses? Like, the, uh, did Ted Bundy not wear glasses? I don't think so. I don't know. Okay, I made that up. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so HBO Max is a service that is streaming, and they're getting a doctor. Max on, Power. On so who, they're what getting do you mean? Doctor Who. Who? They're get, who, Doctor Who. Who? Doctor Who. Female Do- Doctor Who. Apparently. Who? Don't. No. Not again. Who? I, I I don't have the, Doctor. Nope. Who? Don't do it. Why you gotta Why you gotta point out the fact that it's a female? Yeah. Why Why did you do because that? Because women power, woman power, wouldn't, female power. Wouldn't Doctor Who be non-binary? Couldn't, yeah. Couldn't the doctor be any kind of doctor? The doctor yeah, could be a fucking non-binary. vacuum for all I care, as long as he sucks me off. Um, I don't know why I said that. What doctor's <laughs> sucking you off? I, lo- I love. He has no clue of what's going on around him. No. We finally have set cameras up in studio, so our YouTube audience <laughs> can watch awareness. us the whole time. Yeah. He's look, there. I'm right here. Yeah. I'm a thing. And where are you holding that clipboard, that tablet? Hold in on, there's some special effects. All. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. Spray me, Daddy. Why do I keep because, inhaling? Because oh. all, all our audience sees now is this white fucking image flopping in their fucking yeah. face. Are you saying that you, you have no clue? I think Scott's upset because you're blocking his, his, his images. No, yeah, well, I'm pissed off because Scott's now my too image fat to be is blocked. just this big white fucking thing just flashing in the screen. So you that's mean all you're seeing the whole tiny time. Tiny white thing flapping in the breeze? Yeah. Or no, a big white thing flapping. Definitely need a zoom lens to see that little white thing. Oh, okay. Wow, that is not what <gasps> your mom said. Um, <laughs> so HBO has it. It's still BBC though, right? I guess so. BBC's it's- British Boobs Network. No. Don't you have a whole yes. thing on HBO Max oh, on the TV? I, I guess so. Let me move over oh, here, people. Let's, let's, you're too busy looking at booger. <laughs> booger. Uh, given that HBO costs $15, I don't know why I'm reading this. Why are you reading off the screen? <laughs> <laughs> yes, HBO Go is it's a $15 a month uh, subscription fee for HBO Go. But HBO Max is said to expect to be costing around $16 to $17 a month, which is kind of fucking costly, honestly. So is this like you have to pay for HBO Go and HBO Max? Wow, don't ask me those kind of questions. I'm not prepared for that. Hold on. You just keep scrolling cause, through cause stuff and not giving it any like information. Because our audience the idea is to help our audience save money and go with the best pres- prescription, like opioids. So what, you and, know... What would they have to do to save the dinero? Isn't Warner Robert Media part dinero. of this? Is is that part of HBO yeah. Max? Warner Brothers bought uh, AT and T and HBO. So that means that you're going to have access to. Oh my God! Stop scrolling. <laughs> There's literally all the channels right there. Anything produced by Warner Brothers, New Line, DC Entertainment, CNN, TNT, TBS, True TV, The CW, Turner Classic Movies, Cartoon Network, Adult Swim, Crunchyroll, Rooster Teeth, and Looney Tunes. So you you get all that with your HBO Max. That means you can have access to such things as the DC Extended Universe of Superheroes, Godzilla and King Kong, Shared Movieverse, and Lord of the Rings franchise. If, if you're combining things like DC Universe, because the subscription for DCU is 12 This is the extended month, universe, not DC streaming. So it's streaming. not DCU. It's so you have to pay little... for DC streaming and get the DCU with that. It, you really can't win anymore. Because no. like I tried to cut the cord, and I called um, Xfinity, and I'm like, I want to cut down to just internet and a couple channels. I think you told this story. And Yeah, <laughs> I did tell the story. I'm going to tell it again. And Don't they tell said, the whole story. Just you know, tell them that they have... Game you, view. Here's all your channels, and here's a discount. So they still forced me to have all those channels. So I couldn't really cut the cord. I still had to hold on to 5 million Xfinity channels and still pay this fucking exorbitant amount of money. So cutting so, the cord is hard. Cutting the cord is almost impossible because now they're stopping you from cutting the cord. So now HBO Max is another freaking $17 a month. Now you're going to have to pay... Fifteen dollars a month for Disney streaming. Oh, jeez! It's 
there's I don't know if there's a way to really save money. No. Although, did, did I see recently that the Disney streaming service will also give you Hulu? That, yes, you did. And we also reported that they're going to have a bundle with ESPN2 as well. Uh, now, only if they give me the Ocho. ESPN. We're talking the, about the Disney Ocho. Plus? Yes. The Disney's? So if you already have Hulu, getting the Disney's, Disney's no big deal. So that means you can cut Hulu. Cut Hulu, pick you, up Disney, and you get Hulu back. But you don't get so, Hulu Plus. You just get Hulu. Well, is there no Hulu, Hulu Plus? Plus? There's just Hulu, dude. Hulu, no, Hulu, there's Hulu and Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus is just... Ad-free Hulu. Ad-free Hulu. Yeah. But you still have to pay for ad Hulu. You have to pay extra for ad-free Hulu. Yeah. So if you already have regular Hulu, you don't mind some ads here and there, drop Hulu, get Disney, and you're back to where you started. So it, that's breaking even. Where can I watch? <laughs> but if you don't have Hulu, now you're spending more money. Where can I watch Dr. Hulu? Dr. Hulu is HBO Max. Would be okay. HBO Max. Which why, don't, why doesn't everyone just get Pornhub Premium and cut cable TV altogether? Because they give you Pornhub Premium for free on Valentine's Day. Do they really? Yeah. One day Hold, a year. Why do you know that? What's pre- why I don't do even know. I know. Do that? I want to know what's premium about it? What isn't premium? It's, it's full 30 minute videos, you get, HD quality, yeah, 4K <laughs> sometimes. You get to see the full story. Wait. You know a lot more about this than I do. No, I don't. <laughs> ah, yeah. So, what, uh, what, what, what? Uh, they have a furry channel you have? that I subscribe to. What, what subscription channels do you have? Furry channel. Uh, so I have Clip Hunter, X Wait, Video, Uges, Pornhub. Does, noob, noob. Uh, what? Does, TickleMyPickle.com. What? Noob. Does Does someone here also steal that subscription for you as well? No. Yeah, did, probably. Did, because did, I pay for did, all did subscriptions. You, did you, you pay for no subscriptions. Did you Did all. you sign in in someone's house yeah. and they just kept it open so they never had to pay the subscription? Probably. No. So that never happened. Did you finish Only thing? the biggest of scumbags do that. <laughs> mm. They also did, wear train conductor hats a lot. Did mm. you finish? Speaking of what you see, did you finish Swap Thing over on uh, DC Universe? I am not quite. I know the season finale was there but when not when does your billing you know I'm gonna subscription do? hit I'm gonna ch- on dc universe it hits on the 15th of every month i'm does gonna change really? i'm gonna change this change the password so he can't see the last episode oh, of awkward. swamp thing yeah that's gonna that, that would be best. okay because i pay for it and i also don't worry about it because it's not that interesting i'm losing interest in swamp thing eh, it finishes well they should have canceled it that oh wait they did they, oh wait they did not not because of story though it finished well I'm like, like in the middle like section of it and I'm like this I could do without all of it. Yeah. It kind of goes but off it, the deep end. It has a strong a finish swampy. unlike yes, all of us. Finish. Um so Venom 2 has found its director and it's a very AP director. Guess Ooh. what song I won't be playing to accompany this story. We will not be talking about Venom. Venom. Screw Venom. that the stupid M&M song cuz it got us pulled from all our fucking services. It's a great yes. song though. I love Eminem. Ball on, ball on, ball on. It's a fucking horrible song. It's a great song. So ball you're ball saying on. that Eminem is very litigious. Ball on, ball on, put on Eminem put on. loves Jesus. Very litigious. Especially the peanut Eminem. He loves, yes. he loves Jesus. So Venom 2 has found its director, and it's Andy Serkis. Because after his Mowgli directorial debut, they who said this guy just has to do Venom. Yeah. It's going to be a marriage made in... Venom. Venom. Yeah. And uh, a lot of the stars Jinx. are coming back. Tom Hardy, obviously, is coming back as Eddie Brock. All right. Michelle Williams has just been confirmed to come back as Annie. Uh, his love interest, Wait, sort of. Wait, Annie? Yeah. Annie. Annie? Isn't that a different Annie. movie altogether? Not Annie. Annie? Annie. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you, tomorrow. That's Annie, Oh, I thought right? you were talking about Annie. Annie! Annie! Miss Annie. Georgia Jar Binks, Annie! Jar Binks is gonna be I hope Venom kills him. Yes, I he really will hope Venom probably eats bite Jar-Jar off George R. Binks. Head. Woody Harrelson's going to be Carnage. That's going. Are be you dead. sure about that? Pretty. Oh, uh, they mm-hmm. are going to keep him. I I think so. I don't, I don't know. I, I'll be all right with that as long as he turns to Carnage right away and they never show his face again. <laughs> I don't know. If Carnage stays CGI the entire movie, I'm okay with that. I don't want to see his faces. Anything. What if Carnage. he just interviews? Woody Harrelson and Woody Harrelson never becomes Carnage. I like Would that it. be acceptable? Someone else suddenly becomes Carnage. Yeah. He's I think they were worried about the CGI holding up because 
there were complaints about the CGI in the first Venom. I didn't mind it. The first Venom. Oh, here's you mean why, the here's, crap show when the two Venoms decided to fight each other and merge and you couldn't see what anything was? That's here's why I didn't mind the CGI in this Venom. Because in the Superman Venom, they destroyed the way the character looked. Wait, what? Superman so, Venom? Or, or Spider-Man. In Spider-Man's Venom. Mm. In, in Spider-Man. In Spider-Man 3? 3, yeah. yeah. They e- screwed up the character's look completely. Emo he Venom? Like shit. Emo Venom was a horrid, horrid thing. So I didn't mind the CGI in this one because I knew what the other side looked like. So I was okay so with all of it. Between two garbage choices, you took the best garbage I choice. Took, I took the lesser of two garbages. So that's why I think they're bringing in Andy Serkis to... To try garbage it up a little bit more. No. Carnage is going to be a difficult one because Carnage. I mean, because Venom is basically a solid character. He's a solid uh, uh, humanoid. He's the thick. He's thick. He's got the thickness. He's got the thickness. Down with the thickness. But <laughs> Carnage is not. Carnage was always stringy and, goopy. and 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 goopy and and fluid and everything else because of the insanity factor. So CGIing that's going to be a lot more difficult than CGIing this big solid mass that Venom was. Yes, so I agree with that. It, it, you really don't know what direction it's going to go, and I have no prediction about it either. I think we can be guaranteed that the faces will be horrific looking and uh, often scary at times. I would h- hope that. Okay. Spider-Mans what, might show up eventually. What's the rating on that going to be? Do they say? Uh, they didn't say yet, but it's probably going to be R. I hope really? Because so. the first one was PG-13, I'm hoping wasn't it's a hard it? R. So why would it be R? I don't know. Go hard R. Hopefully, they should. Venom should be a hard R movie. Was Mowgli hard R? I don't know. I'm pretty sure they had people's heads being bit off, and they just didn't show it. Yeah, mur- and murderous little children. That's stupid. In Mowgli? No, stupid. In oh, I meant in Venom. In but Venom, yes. yeah. Stupid. Mowgli. Uh, yeah, Venom, Venom should be a hard R. It won't be, but which sure. Will, which will ruin the movie. Did you did it ruin the first movie for you? I liked the first I one. I enjoyed the first movie. It, it was, was rated PG thirteen. So what part of that's going to ruin it for you? It could have been better if it was R. Could've yes, I agree. But did it ruin the movie? Was the question that didn't was posed. ruin it, but it could be better it with a hard it. R. It saved it from Spider Man. <laughs> okay. It saved it from Tobey Maguire. <sighs> anyway, yes. <clears throat> so you know what you could have used to see Venom in theaters? Movie Pass or you know not? What, you know what Movie Pass apparently did. Because they were losing so much money, they changed everyone's fucking passwords so they it's couldn't use outrage. the service. It's an outrage. Yeah, so that's, um, they're fucked, pretty much. I, I don't see them recovering from this. I don't see how you could. So if you were trying to order movie tickets, you're telling me that they would just change your password because they didn't want to sell you the tickets because so it was too sign expensive? Into it. Movie Pass was the one that they collapsed right away because they didn't charge enough, right? Yeah, it, like everyone was all about it because it was like six bucks a month initially, so like and you can see as much as, as you movies. want. You can see a movie a day. Yes, and they were fucking bleeding money. So then they're like, "Oh, everyone that's using it a lot, we're going to change their passwords, so it stops them for a couple hours or a day or whatever." Specifically so around the same time that um, big new releases came out. No, that at that one Tom Cruise movie came out. Mission Impossible. Correct. Mission Impossible. Fallout. Eighteen. Fallout. Ninety-seven. Ghost Protocol. No. Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise, the cruisiest cruise of cruise. No, it was the Mission one with Impossible, the... Mission uh, Impossible, 7, the Segway Wars. I'm loading up my punches. Henry Cavill? <laughs> yeah, Fallout. That one. Yeah. God, I love Henry Cavill. So when he was loading up them punches so and sexy. ruining Justice League, well, that's about the same time. Did Joss Whedon ruin Justice League or did Henry Cavill ruin Justice League? A little bit of both. Well, heard it both ways. His mustache that's goes both his, ways. The mustache definitely went both ways. Oh, for That's sure. Not his that fault, was though. a pickle tickler. His French tickler. That was a pickler tickler. I wonder how eating ass with that mustache was. I don't know. Why don't you tell us? I don't have that tickle like? mustache. Oh, no, you I got, was no. Yeah, you got, you got I was saying for licking. What I was referring to that was how did it feel a, from Henry Cavill to have that done to you? I would love to have for Henry Cavill to eat my asshole. Yeah, but how did it no, feel I with his tickle pick? I would feel like electricity going through you my should. penis. I think you have a sphincter tickling mustache. I mean, I do. Yeah. For I mean, you, I do, for but For our YouTube still. audience, you can check out uh, yeah. Noob Noob's sphincter Maybe we'll tickler. do a story about his tickler. His tickler. We'll and have a vote. Does this look Super like an anal tickler? Oh, like- that's even better because of Henry Cavill was Superman. I'm Super Moose. And I will Super <laughs> moose eat your fucking asshole. What? I don't know. That's not a thing. Way to have oh a good Lord. joke prepared. Yeah. You're for Super Moose. Boy. I'm Super 
I don't know. Moosey? Yeah. Anyone ever tell you what an asshole you look like? Drink the rest of your fucking You look like martini. a moosey one. <laughs> no, I'm enjoying my martini instead of guzzling in two drinks. Like I some come guzzle my here. drinks. A moose hole. Of course you do, because you're a swallower. I yeah, heard oh that about you. Spit and quitters. And that's what I appreciate about you. Yeah, you should appreciate it. That's what I appreciate. <sighs> it's yes. going to be hard to find a swallower again. So it's at least movie pass, though. They paved the way for all of the actual movie theaters to make their own services, which are substantially better, right? Yeah, you yeah. have you have the one, right? What's what do you have? AMC jerk off pass. Yeah, yeah, AMC jerk off pass. Is that, AMC is that worth it? Because I'm debating on doing that. If you live near an AMC, it's 100 percent worth it. <laughs> Maybe I will. You literally see two movies a month, and it pays How, for itself. Is it for what? Just one ticket or two tickets or one ticket? You can see three movies one a week. One ticket with for one ticket. It's twenty two bucks. Okay. But if it includes IMAX and Dolby. So if you have a theater that has IMAX or Dolby, those tickets are $17 to $18. So if you see two movies, that's $34 to $36. All but right. it's only $22 a month. For one ticket? Yes. Okay. And you could see, what, $5 movies on Tuesdays? That Yeah, you can so, do that. So two tickets, $44 a month. N- what? How much no. is it? You said it was twenty two a month, right? AMC list is twenty one ninety five a month. Twenty two a month. Yes. So if I want to do two tickets, it would cost me forty four a month. No, well, no, because AMC A list is all encompassing. It's three tickets per week for the month, so you can see twelve movies a month. So two people can go see one movie, and then you go see another movie by yourself. That's not how that works. You'd have to pay the other if person would I, have to pay for their ticket. If I wanted to take somebody to see a movie, they'd have to pay for a ticket. We'd yeah. have to pay for their ticket. But Correct. you don't so pay for yours. If two people. On a normal basis, went to the movies. They uh-huh. could both get an AMC pass, yes. Yes. and it would cost forty four a month. Correct. Yes. Wow. But also, yes. you wouldn't pay for any more tickets. Me helpy. That's so yep, helpy. We're getting, we're getting on track here. Um, I use it, and I it, it's super great for me. You get because free you pop- go because you go, don't have any friends, so you go to the movies by yourself on a regular basis. That yeah, what? Okay, you're not wrong. <laughs> no you're arguments not, on that one. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. The sad life of a noob. In your face! <sighs> so sad. I'm gonna... I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry himself just, to sleep. Uh, Ooh! Z! Yeah? The last little drop of my Dirty Moose Martini had extra Tabasco in it. That's great. It had some bite. It mm. was delicious. Just like you're biting out my soul by ruining my happiness. Um, oh, I've been so, doing that for years. Yeah. Well, anyway, we have. Uh, di- uh, we already talked about Disney Plus. Um, yes, so that's do. that's about all the news. I think. Yeah, you're done with news. We are the news, but there is justice in news and reviews, and it's for Han, and it's about Hobbsy and Charles. Wait, you said justice for Han, right? Yeah. I did. How I've been hearing a little bit about this, this justice for Han, and I know it's been a long time, but I mean, it's been a few how years exactly now. are they going to get justice for Han? They didn't do it in the last movie. It didn't happen. There was no justice for Han. No, he lived. So, no, in the last movie, no, he lived. Yeah, he died the in the movie who before Han that. Lived in the movie after that. He did? No, he yeah. didn't. No, he's still alive. The end of the last movie, he's still alive. Han. No, Han died, but the guy who killed Han is still alive. Correct. The guy Kylo who killed Han, Han is movie, still, yes. still, yeah, he's yes. still there. Talking about a different movie here. So, no, it's Han. How, well, how? Kylo Ren is still alive. No, well, no. This is a different, wrong, wrong music. No. Well, we're talking about Asian Han from Fast and Furious. Not Han Solo. Not Han Solo. Wait, what? Wait. I thought we were who's, this whole movement Han? for justice for Han was for the yeah. fact that Han Solo was murdered by his son. Yeah, he's yes. been dead for quite some time. Yes, though. and we still want justice, justice for that. We still need justice I don't for Han Solo. Do. How no. long has this other Han been dead? Actually, he's been dead for quite a while. Tokyo <laughs> Okay, so yeah. So he's been dead for a long time too? He's been dead for long, but he's not Asian. No, he is Asian. <laughs> Wait this a Han second. Han is Asian. And is Asian's Han better- Solo Asian? Han Solo is not Asian. He's okay. white. You sure about that? I th- is he is gypsy? This, is this going to be part of our um, Calvin and Hobbes review? I th- well, I, what does Justice did, for Han have in, to do wait, with Calvin and Hobbes? Are we going Hobbes? into reviews? Wait, can we reorganize it for a second? Are we doing reviews? We are reviewing Justice for Han, Han Solo, Calvin and Hobbes, and Shaw. Super combo. And Wild Horse. Tonight, you. Oh. Rape. Oh. 
Mm-hmm. <coughs> oh my god. Alright, wow. yeah. Newton Nim's cleared his throat. We can continue Let on. Me clear my throat. <coughs> So you're saying that Justice for Han has nothing to do with Han Solo? No, it has everything to do with Asian Han from the Fast and Furious. Okay. The Asianist of Hans. Then you're going to have to explain this to me, because who is Han? So Han was the character that everyone loved from the much blind uh, Tokyo Drift movie, which is the third Fast and Furious movie that came out in like 2005 or some shit. Okay, so I did not see that. So you're telling me, spoiler alert, Han dies. He dies in Tokyo Drift, But didn't yes. he come back in the next movie? That was a prequel and a revamp of the original series. Oh my god. Wait a second. Did they reboot Fast and Furious? They didn't reboot it. They reinvigorated it. Wasn't they, they, Tokyo Drift they straight said, to DVD? They said, fuck a calendar. We're going to jump all over the place with this fucking movie series. Not really. Series. It's pretty hard. It's pretty and easy to follow. We're going to jump back in time for this. Ew. So number seven is going to be before number six. Nope. And number eight will be after number seven That's and not, after number six. Well, yeah, that's how that works. When is number nine? Numerically, it's not out yet. Fast nine. Fine. Yeah, the fine, fine and furious. Fine and furious. If that's not out yet. They're making that currently. I'm pretty sure they're making it. I can't I, imagine why they wouldn't. I just they they are they are making it currently. So it's fine and furious. It's, it doesn't have a title yet, but Charlize Theron is coming back as the villain. So they keep their villains alive, but they kill their heroes. Well, no, they killed Han in Tokyo Drift before they knew they were revitalizing the series with Vin Diesel. So you're saying that the, the trilogy was goes back in time? No, there was no. Tri- there was fa- the Fast and the Furious. Then Vin Diesel's like, I'm noping out. I'm gonna do Pitch Black. So then Paul Walker and what the fuck is this? That's every time you talk, it's a fucking accident. Great. So then... It's a, tra- it's a car wreck. Awesome. My buzz is wearing off. I can't handle this right now. <laughs> Are we good? So, so Fast and Furious happens. I saw Fast that and movie. Fast and Furious. Yeah, that was great. That movie had cars in it. It did. And stereotypes. Then Too, too Fast, Too Furious was in Miami, and it had cars and the black guy Tyrese Gibson in it with Paul Walker. So that Tyrese replaced Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Sorta. So then that series did okay, and then they're like, let's make a Tokyo version with none of the original cast. And that one went straight to DVD. Can you what are you doing? I'm trying to start this car, but it's not happening. Can you not? Can you can uh, you You're the you're the one trying to start this fucking thing and it's not this happening. conversation? I'm I'm explaining the Fast and the Furious series. Do it better. I'm doing it accurately. There's a lot going on, and I need to go through it chronologically. So they go to Tokyo. Yes. And Han was the... Basically not the Han si- Solo. Not not Han Solo. Asian Han. Played not the Millennium Falcon. Not... No. What did Nothing he call his car? Nothing to do with Disney. He's Asian. What did he call his car? I, I don't know. Sweet Jemima? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no. So Han dies in the third movie. Yes. So where's his justice? There, so Do they get justice in the fourth movie? No, that's a prequel. Han's alive and in the fourth one. I heard they actually have one clue as to the murderer that's, for Han. No, they, they tell they, you. They, they know they're, they're trying to catch up to the killer. They have a cute clue. No, they, 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 they have audio of the car that got away. They, no. <laughs> what? They tell you who the killer is. In Fast and Four. No, you don't find out until Fast... The, the end credit scene of Fast Six is when you find out who killed Han. Because they retroactively fit that in to fit the story. So Han dies by his son lightsabering him no, to death? No, no. This is Asian Han! Not Han Solo! Are you understanding? No. This sounds like a car wreck. Yeah, a train that, wreck. he died in a car wreck, for sure. There was Did planes. he explode? He did explode. How do you... Did they see his body? They... Well, no. So he could still be alive. Theoretically. Han could come back from the dead he as could. a zombie? Yo, yo, check it out. I got audio of Noob Noob dying in a car crash. Ready? Hold on. It's going to be good. Uh. 
Do I choke <laughs> on dick to death? Is that how I die in a car crash? Where you're choking on your own blood. Do I run into a dildo train right, and that? Can just... I can I reel this back in now? Nope. After after God knows what the fuck YouTube been doing for the last. We five only minutes. got to fast. Four. No clue. Is no it called Fast Four? Either of you were talking. It's just called about. Fast and Furious. All right. So here's 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 the deal. I'm gonna explain this in a way that noob noob can't. I'm gonna bring this all together really quick. No, you're not. A character in Fast and Furious, his name was Han. He died in one of the early series. It finds out that Decker Shaw is the guy who actually killed Who's him. Who's Decker Shaw? Decker Shaw is. Um, fuck. What's his name? Jason Statham. Jason Statham. Who's Jason Statham? British Jesus. The actor. The actor the from actor Statham. The, Infamous movie, The Meg. Yes. And also so the famous Italian from job. The Meg. Yes. Yeah, Italian job, which also has a little cool um, thing in the Cars. movie. We'll get to that in a minute. Did you actually see Hobbs and Shaw? I did. So Did you really? So I can actually reel this fucking disaster of a conversation in. Wow, I'm proud of him. So, Jason Statham. That gets a titty grab. Shaw. He. Get the fuck out of What does The Rock have to do with any of this? So He's Samoan. So, Z, let me bring this back together real fast. So, in the movie, this is not a spoiler, but Shaw, Jason What movie Statham, are you talking about? Fast and Furious 6? In Hobbs and Shaw. All right? Can we end this fucking Super skit? combo? The skit's not funny anymore, Z. Let's fucking end it right now. I've never seen any of these movies. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. So, for those that have seen the movie, and this is not a spoiler if you haven't seen the movie yet. In the movie, Statham's character, Shaw, says... <laughs> There's things I have to make up for, bad things I've done in my Shops. past that I want to make up for, that this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make things right. One of those things you're referring to is killing Han in one of the early Fast and Furious movies. So, yes, How's he making up for that? There is justice for Han. Han but how is he making up for that? Because he's trying to do the right thing now to make up for the bad What's... things that he's done in the past. And the right thing now are the events that take place in Calvin and Hobbes. So playing with tigers. Yes. So by in playing Hob- with tigers, in, in, he will make up for yes. killing in, in Hobbs Han. and Shaw. So okay. those that were calling for justice for Han didn't see Hobbs and Shaw yet because okay. in Hobbs and Shaw, he actually comes out and says, there's things I've done in the past that I'm sorry about and I want to make up for. And that's why I'm doing the right thing now. One of those things is killing Han in one of the early Fast and Furious Isn't movies. he a bad guy? He was, it was initially insinuating that he was a bad guy. Turns out he was just playing double agent at some point. Ooh, Not really. He was Han. just trying to get vengeance for his brother who he thought Han. was dead but wasn't actually dead. Han, at one point, was probably one of the bad choices he made because he killed somebody that he realized later on that was innocent. So that's kind of what they're leading so on. So Han was innocent. Han was most likely innocent, even though even though he's end, participating in illegal street in, racing. In the end, all of the guys in Fast and Furious are fucking villains. They're all criminals participating in illegal street racing. Participating in, in, in a lot of other illegal shit and killing innocent bystanders with their wrecks. Exactly. And hurting people and stealing cars. Isn't that what they do? Isn't that the whole premise of it's, all it's of these a movies? A lot of these Fast and yes. Furious fuckers is they steal cars. Well, then, um, they, no, they didn't. Steal. Don't they steal cars and put them on it on there, like a boat? There were uh, and they have to get like fifty cars, and that's the that whole is premise. gone in sixty seconds. Damn! Oh it. my god, that was actually a good throwback. <laughs> that was a real good throwback. That's I a, like that. That's a whole lot of Nick Cage that's and Angelina Jolie. Nice. Damn it! I thought they were in these movies. Oh, that was a good Sorry. throwback. So that's that's a guilty pleasure too. That's one of those popcorn flicks I still enjoy. It does have. It's a horrible movie, but it's nice it's cars a great in movie. It though. Uh, it, was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was ridiculously bad, but for good reasons. Yeah. Yes, I remember something about that movie. So there was a car, and it had a name. Exactly. Sex like machine. Stella or something. Stella. <laughs> yes. Stella. No, Stella. Stella was the name of the Mustang. Thank was you, it? I don't yes. think it was Stella. Maybe it wasn't. No. Stella. Stella! Is, uh, no, I'm sorry. Stella's a beer I like to drink. Yes. Stella Artois. Yes. Artois. Artois. Artois? Or, or as Lebowski would say, artists. Stella artists. 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 Yes. Yes. So wasn't I reviewing Hobbs and Shaw? So, yes. Now that we can get away from that fucking shit show. Okay, let me ask a please question. Please come now. back and actually do a review. What of this does. Movie! What does Hobbs and Shaw have to do with Fast and Furious? Nothing. Uh, not, not Nothing. Too much. Nothing at all. Okay. Yeah. All right, so. so I'll Are there I'll, nice I'll, cars in this movie? Let me. Let me Somewhat. set this up for you. Do soon. they steal them? Not really. Do they race them? Not really. So this is n- not a Z, Fast and Furious movie. 
Not really. Your question, I can answer with my quick review. I hate Fast and Furious. I hate everything about it. I can't stand the entire effing franchise. Don't they usually the drag a lot one, of things around on the backs of cars? Yeah, Isn't that the, like a thing? The, the last one I tried to watch and I screamed at the TV the entire time. I hate Fast and Furious. In case that's not clear, let me say it again. I fucking hate Fast and Furious. Do, do they so, drag a submarine around or something? With they're or running torpedoes? from a submarine in cars. In cars. They're, they're, on it's, the ice. it's a ridiculously horrible franchise. There's nothing good about it. With yes. that being said, Hobbs and Shaw is not a Fast and Furious movie. They it's should not. have just been like The There's, Rock and Jason the, Statham. The, the reason they had to do it is because it is characters that were in Fast and Furious. So they're trying to keep the Fast and Furious franchise alive, even though I can tell you right now, Hobbs and Shaw does not belong in the same universe as Fast and Furious. Well, that's interesting. This is a different universe. It's a different feel. There's one part, only one part of the movie where it actually feels like it's Fast and Furious. We'll touch on that in the spoilers later on. But we're not in spoilers. Not, I know. No, 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 no. no. Don't, we haven't even gotten into box office. We haven't done shit yet. So we're not doing spoilers yet. Okay. So, so no, there's nothing about this movie. There's one part that kind of feels Fast and Furious. This, 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 but. Other than that, this is not a Fast and Furious movie. Nowhere close. It didn't do that With well. With that being said, I enjoyed it. I liked this movie. It was good. It was a good movie. We'll get on that right now with, with the, sure the critics about and stuff. That? This is not a Fast and Furious movie. This is a separate entity altogether. When we get into spoilers uh, a little bit, you can I'll tell you the separations between the two when we get into spoilers in a second. Z, I actually can come out and say right now, go see this movie. It's actually, it's not a Fast and Furious. It's a good movie. Oh. I, I enjoyed it. The fans appeared to have liked it. Yeah. The fans liked but it. But they didn't pay for it because they didn't, they didn't show up with their money. Um, I mean, they sort of did. It, it ma- only made $60 million its opening week, and it's 108 now. That's not that good. Yeah, well, it's, it's worldwide, worldwide budget. Worldwide, it did okay. Or its budget was and $200 I, million. And I do, think Fast, I do think because it says Fast and Furious Presents, that's actually going to work against this movie. If you separated this from Fast and Furious and didn't have that part in the beginning where it says Fast and Furious Presents, this movie would have done a lot better. It didn't work that well for X-Men Origins. I, I mean, it's still going to make like 400 and 500 million. Is that good enough? I think Scott said this last time. Is that good enough these days? You need to make like a billion. Well, when your budget's 200 million, you, you yeah. need to make a lot well, of money. When, when your budget's 500, then you need to make a billion. When your budget's 150 or 200, then 400 is a good number. Yeah, but if you look at each individual movie, was you know it costs a little less than the Avengers. Hobbs movie. and Shaw also had the issue where Endgame and Infinity Wars had a great franchise leading up to it that was amazing and enthralling and captivated people. Fast and Furious did not do Pretty that. Pretty sure Fast and, the Fast and Furious made like a, a billion dollars. Fast and Furious made a lot of fucking money, but as it kept going on, they lost a fan base like fucking crazy. You sure Because about it kept that? getting worse and yeah, worse and worse and worse. Sounds but like you're... The, the Nitro Fast had, and Furious Fast 8, and Furious, did that make like a billion dollars? The Fast it and did. Furious, they're still going to carry the Nitro heads, the people that are stupid So the and fans are still showing up for those movies. Because it still has a fan base of people that drive shitty lowered cars that scrape speed bumps. But but those people the paid for movies. Are horrible. Yes. Yeah. Well, the money they saved by just taking the springs out instead of cutting them <laughs> and lowering their cars properly, were able to spend that money instead on going to see a so, movie. So, Fast and Furious Seven made the most. Uh, what is this? Domestic. Yeah, because that was Paul oh, Walker's is, last movie. This is domestic. So. Fast and, and Furious that, 8. And that got a fun because it was right after Paul Walker's death, so everybody said, let's go see what they did and paid some tribute to How Paul Walker. How come 8's not in there? Fast, the Fate of the Furious is number Oh, is eight. that what that is? So what's the... How fast is the drop-off? Wait, is that... I see that right? So... So far, it, was, it, it made less like than the second and one. and some, and then 62,000. <laughs> Hold on, go back. So Fast and Furious 7 made the most domestically. Yeah, one point five. And then, oh, yeah. it, and then it was the two. What's after that? It's to seven. It's, will you stop fucking jumping screens, asshole? Oh my god. So what was that? So because I can kind of see it. What's that? Number eight. Oh, that's Hobbs and Shaw. So fast and too fast, too furious. Which that's the last one that had Paul Walker. No. Too fast and too furious. That which, was the second. That's movie the, in the franchise. second movie. 
Oh, that's an order <laughs> of money made. Yeah. Okay, so I my can't, head hurts. All right. So yeah. So I'm. Oh, this Tok- is all of oh, the movies. That's why Tokyo Drift only made sixty something. The one thousand. that went out. So this made a little bit more than that. So far. So far. Yeah. Yeah. It still had. Yeah, but like. This weekend with but, the scary movie coming out, like it's only gonna make like another couple million. It's not gonna, maybe ten, maybe. So Tokyo Drift, the movie that's been around for almost as long as the first movie, has only made sixty-two, and in two weeks, Hobbs and Soul made a hundred and Hobbs and Shaw. What's that? Hobbs and 108. Shaw. One hundred and eight. So in two weeks, it beat what this movie's made in ten years. Yeah, but fast. Tokyo Drift was Horrible. like a joke. It was, it was. It was an absolute joke. Like I said, it was straight out to DVD. Was the impression I had. It pretty much was. I've still never seen any of these movies and will not watch any of them. I think you could actually go see Hobbs and Shaw and enjoy it. Because even without knowing a lot of the backstory, all you need to know is that these two guys don't like each other and you can enjoy the movie. <laughs> That's the, as much of the plot as the, you need the, to know the, from the, eight other movies. The, the rhetoric between Dwayne Johnson and Statham is great. These guys are really good on screen together. They actually saved the movie. They have great chemistry. You, you, you have this movie where the, the, the villain is outrageous. It's a cross between G.I. Joe and Transformers. They, the action's insane. He can transform? And it's over the top. I'll get into spoilers. He's uh, it's Black over Superman. The top. It's over the top <laughs> where Superman. the technology, the weapons, the vehicles, everything is just, it's sci-fi. It's, but it's, not it's, cool it's, cars. It's gone away from the Fast and Furious and become sci-fi at this point. Okay. The way the technology and the weapons and everything is. The villain is sci-fi. He's a cyborg, pretty much. So, and that's not a spoiler. We know that. So, as outrageous as all this is... The, the the combination of these two guys has was amazing, was fantastic. And and the female lead, what's her name? Um, Vanessa Kirby. She was and, and even though when these two guys kinda got out of control, she reeled it in and she was a great third fucking lead this Third movie. wheel. She was a great third wheel. And and she was a Does great Does the rock between. bang her? Oh, They're, he's going to. He's going to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure that that yeah, happened. Early, he's going to unleash yeah, his spoiler. Samoan tsunami in her vagina. <laughs> oh, jeez. It, it, it's, 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 it's a good movie. I could say, I can actually honestly say, you can go see this movie and still and you enjoy won't want it. My, you won't want your money back? And you won't want your money back. Okay. Uh, what did we say Rotten Tomatoes did on this? Rotten Tomatoes. As much as you want to suck the rock's the, dick and Jason Statham. The Statham, tomato I'd meter love to was 66% <laughs> with the critic consensus. Hobbs and Shaw doesn't rev as high as a franchise best installments, but gets decent mileage out of its well-matched stars and over-the-top action sequences. That sounds like what you said, Scott. Yeah. If you're, well-matched if, stars. If you're, if you're looking for Fast and Furious, you'll be disappointed because this isn't Fast and Furious. It's better. And those critics that are fucking slamming... Better. Aren't separating from this is on its own a way better movie than any of those Fast and Furious were. I mean, the audience score likes it because it's eighty nine percent on sixteen thousand reviews. Yeah. yeah, didn't The Rock thank the fans for having like a, a like a ninety or eighty nine percent review rating, like the highest? Fra- I think that's franchise highest. I'm pretty it's possible. sure. And yeah, and and The Rock, who the guy knows how to treat his fans well. Most seems like most ex wrestlers or even wrestlers do know how to treat their fans well. And they're amazing at this. He did come out thanking the fans for the response and the ratings and everything else. And they wrestled and did they wrestle? There were wrestlers in it. There were a couple Roman R- Roman reigns was in this. Who? There was pictures of, um, of, uh, Dwayne Johnson's dad, the original rock. They, they did do a couple throwbacks to the ring and to wrestlers that, you know, that were actually Samoan, and and part of his his uh, family his uh what, what was the word for brother? Uh, <laughs> fuck if I know. They only said a hundred times. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, don't ask us questions like that. But they didn't they didn't dip too hard into well, this was family. Me, you didn't see. you didn't have Vin Diesel going well. This was family. We're, we're doing this because it's family. This is this is all because of family. You can't beat us because we're family. He, they didn't do Vin Diesel bullshit with that. They Samoan touched, equals family. They, they, <laughs> he's so stupid. They, they touch they touch on family <laughs> a little bit, but it. It, it was a good movie. It separated from all the rest. Let, I'm Googling it right now. Samoan War. Tu, no, that's not it. Tugane? Tuagane? No. no. I don't Uso? know. Uso? Uso. That's Uso. it. Uso. Yeah. Uso. Yeah. Uso. 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 They, yeah, so they ah, use that a lot. That's yes. not how that works. Uso. No, that's two very different 
nations. Oh, you're anyway, useless. Um, so yeah, I thought it was a great movie, and it was a lot of actions, and The Rock was shirtless a lot in the end, and that was nice. He just also just randomly Didn't put his shirt back on. Totally too. steal a scene from Captain America: Civil War where he's pulling a helicopter back. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 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 So they just right, right steal. before that, but noob. he did it more manly. Right before that, new more manly than Captain America. <laughs> bigger, Dude, the bigger rock muscles, is manly, much bigger muscles, bigger muscles. Did you yeah. see? Did you see right before that when he just randomly put a shirt back yeah. on? He just randomly as, as he's running to the one vehicle, some dude just throws him a shirt for him to put back on. Why? We don't need him to be shirtless for the rest of this whole movie. Let's reel this in just a little bit. <laughs> it, it was it was an obvious like, all right, Rock, put a shirt back on. This might be a huge spoiler, but I don't know if you guys saw on uh, social media that Ryan Reynolds has the same tattoo. Yes, as... that is a huge spoiler, by the way. Hey, so... they did it, not me. They put it on Instagram they that did. they both they have the same tattoo. There. I don't know what that means also, in the Ryan movie. Also, Ryan Reynolds being in the movie was fantastic. I don't so know. We'll do I never so knew that. Way to spoil it for me. I was just pointing something out that uh, someone who never saw the movie Spoiler made a giant leader time. Like anyone cares that you spoil this movie. There's actually, Things blow there's up. There's actually a couple parts of it that are spoiled. Black Superman will take away doesn't from. win. How's so, Idris Elba? You guys didn't even talk about him. I love Idris Elba. Is he, he one was, dimensional? He was really good. He was multidimensional. Even though he was, oh, was a he cyborg villain and super villain-ish. He was good. He's what was, good at everything he does. What were his motivations again that were so he was multidimensional? Black Superman. He was Black Superman. Ironically enough, let me tell you this. The script would actually call for him to say Black James Bond. Elba refused to say that because... He wants to be whole, James Bond. Well, there's that whole rumor going on about him being the next James Bond, which may or may not happen, and that's another story altogether. So he refused to say that. So he does at one point say, I'm Black Superman. Okay. Also plays very well. There already is a black Superman. Is there though? Yeah. There is. There's, There's actually a, character. a couple a couple of variations of Superman who's black. One of them being um uh Henry John Henry. Is that John you, Henry uh yeah. Well, oh, you're talking about Steel. He's yeah, Steel. Steel. Yeah, he's Steel. So yeah, so there's a couple of variations. So Look! Look at look at me actually doing my job and getting into the fucking meat and bones of these movies as the director should. Wow! Um, <laughs> I know. Are you guess guess who actually did their job? You're this a, week? What we're I'm actually talking about uh, Calvin Ellis. He's Black Superman. He was All Kryptonian right. president of the United States. But here's here's something else that's really cool. Um, his character Brixton, the suit that he's wearing for a lot of the time has the Wayland Utani symbol. No, it doesn't, does it? Yep, it's got a Wayland Yutani symbol on the right collarbone. Really? Yeah. Wayland Yutani. Now you've got my interest. Was in Prometheus. Elba <laughs> starred, starred. You mean the Alien franchise. As Don't in, talk to me as about in Prometheus. The, as in the Alien franchise. Elba was in Prometheus as an employee of the company. Yes, he Wayland was. Wayland Yutani, which mm-hmm. is a symbol that he was wearing on the suit that he had on live. It was on his right collarbone. Mm-hmm. Isn't that interesting? Yes, that he's a super soldier because they have so super awesome they did, technology. They did a real good job of, of tying a lot of things into this movie. What, what the, what How does this tie into the past, Alien franchise? It doesn't tie into the Alien franchise. Okay. It's just a throwback to what these actors did. There's a lot of cool mm. throwbacks. Just like there was an Italian job reference with uh, Jason Statham's little Mini Cooper. Yep, they, they go through a garage there that has all these super nice vehicles, and there's a <laughs> Mini Cooper... Uh, Dwayne Johnson makes a comment about that, and Statham actually says something about, you know, I use that on a job. Or in Italy, yeah, huh? Yeah. So actually, I use that on a job in Italy. Huh. Throw him back to the Italian huh. job. Huh. 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 That's super tight. <laughs> That's totally there, tight. There, there is. There's a lot of real cool little throwbacks in this. They they had some the cool cameos. They had a, Helen Mirren showed up again. Yeah, who's she? She is the Jason Statham's mama. Which. Actually, in I think for real life, no, or in, no, in the in movie just itself, the movies. in the movies. Well, so she, in the Fast and Furious movies, Helen Mirren plays Jane Statham's mom. Yes, yes, that's a thing. Yeah, that's actually a thing. <laughs> okay, she shows up briefly. What, do you remember? Apparently, she showed up briefly in one of the Fast and Furious. Do I remember that? Mm, no, I don't as remember his, that. As his mom. Well, because yeah. you never saw any of them. She was exactly. in Fate of the Furious. So she popped up, and she showed up in this one regularly. She wanted to be in the Fast and Furious franchise for a while. They made it happen. Apparently, <laughs> she's going to be in number nine a lot. Huh? Pro- yeah, Why would Helen Mirren want to be in the Fast and Furious for franchise? For some reason, she wants to be in them. I mean, she's, she's been in it since seven. She, she loves cars. Seven, eight, nine. 
Nine's not out yet. Yeah, well, will be. Oh. Yeah, yeah. and that's... Fine and the, furious. The, uh, who knows what's going to happen with Nine. So we Sounds know, exciting well, to me. We know Drain Johnson won't be in Nine. He will come back for Ten if it makes it that far. He won't be back Why for Why is he not coming back for Nine? Because of all the bullshit that happened with Tyrese and Vin Diesel so because, when, when they started announcing the creation of Hobbs and Shaw. When did The Rock join the franchise? Fast Five. Okay. Yeah. And Statham came in when? Fast Seven. All right. So as soon as they put Dwayne Johnson and Statham together, they realized that there was chemistry between these two guys. Mm. Conversation started right away chemistry. about making a movie with these two guys. Get naked with these as two As soon guys. as the rumor mill started, Vin Diesel, who was an executive producer on Fast and Furious, went off the fucking deep He's end. He's the producer of all of the, the he, Fast he and Furious. He went off the fucking deep end. He started sabotaging shit. He stopped showing Whoa. up to shoots, all kinds of fucking drama. Wasn't Tyree upset too? Tyrese then later Tyrese. on went off the deep end too. Who? Going on Instagram crying about, I need to feed my babies and you taking money out of my pockets and blah, 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 blah. Oh what? My God. Yeah. So, so all this drama appeared. While that's going on, people on other sides said, well, Jason Statham and Dwayne Johnson are still a great de- duo. Let's put them in a movie oh, together. Oh, Jesus. I don't care about this anymore. Yeah, we're, we're wasting a lot of time on this. Uh, Kevin Hart's in it, too, by the way. Oh, I don't care about that yeah. either. He pops up. His, his, his character wasn't that funny, but Kevin Hart is the same guy all the time. Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds was the was same guy as well, though. but he was still the same guy. But he was fantastic. Uh, still funny. It was still fun. I'll give you that. If you have to go see the movie, go. There's a very end credit scene at the very, very, very end. There's 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 multiple end credits. There's one at the very, very airy end, which is amusing. Yeah, they're all amusing. Everything with Ryan Reynolds is gold. I am not amused. We should go to another movie that's much less amusing. (laughs) Much less amusing. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Quentin Tarantino's ninth film. Uh, Can he just be done? He should be done. He should just retire. I mean, the movie wasn't bad it, just it wasn't, wasn't good purposeful. from what i've heard it was from just, people who saw it was said a movie. movie like it happened i had i had uh people go to see this movie and they told me about it because i was curious if i should go and they said they had trouble staying awake well, and that it was good? awful well it's has a two hour and once 41 upon a time minute. in hollywood uh, yeah, I, did, I don't know anything. Two about hour, forty-one minute runtime. What? N- Ninety million production budget has only made one hundred and eight so far. So this is a three-hour movie, pretty much. Wasn't this Quentin Tarantino's best opening though? Since it Pulp was. Fiction, yeah. Well, his openings don't make anything. Oh, but he's a great director. He's a great. I guess so. People they like did a him. Three-hour movie, pretty much. Yeah. Doesn't he always? That do three wasn't hour Justice League. No. Correct. It was not. No, Justice League was only or an Avengers. hour, hours. two hours. It wasn't Avengers. No. Well, this is not the ninth film building upon Holy eight God. others. Yeah. This was how just expect, a film. How do you expect to have just a solo film almost three hours long and expect anyone to stay awake for the whole time? And it's not connected to anything else? Oh my I mean, God. the tomato meter, people, reviewers liked it. It was 85%. <laughs> of course score, the reviewers though. liked it because they like... Quentin Tarantino, because they're afraid of him. Audience yeah. score, not that great, though. Only 70%. Yeah. So the, the critic consensus... People are afraid of, of Quentin. Yeah. He wields a lot of power in Hollywood. The critic consensus, thrillingly unrestrained yet solidly crafted, once upon a time in Hollywood, tempers Tarantino's provocative impulses with the clarity of a mature filmmaker's vision. Really? I don't know what that means, because the movie essentially serves no purpose. Yeah, there is no plot and serves no purpose, and there's a lot of controversy surrounding it. I mean, it's just nostalgia. It's literally just going over the Hollywood era in of like 69. the 60s. Yeah. Because I think it hasn't specifically. It been done a few times. I don't Here's know. Here's the other thing, too. The, the, these critics, these people that are in there, that, I mean, you look at like the Oscars and those award shows, they love movies about their own world. They love movies They're, about movies. In fact, love, isn't there a part where she watches the movie inside this movie? For like 10 minutes. Yes, that yeah. sounds awesome. Margot That's Robbie's great. Sharon Tate watches the actual Sharon Tate's movie as she plays Sharon Ha-ha, Tate. That's very meta. I love those. Wow. Where she laughs at people laughing at Sharon Tate. So she's laughing at Sharon Tate. As other people are laughing as Sharon, watching Sharon Tate, Sharon Laugh Tate. Laugh at Sharon Tate and this goes while on for Sharon 10 Tate. And that's yes. the most that she gets to be in that movie, right? Pretty much. And then she's pregnant and lives. Mmm. Way to spoil things for us. 
There's Unlike really, real life, this movie does not follow real life. There's, there's nothing to spoil. <laughs> you mean it doesn't follow actual history where Sharon Tate is murdered brutally by the Manson family? No, the ending is actually fucking awesome. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. sure. Mo- most of them, it's well acted, like DiCaprio and Pitt. There's a fantastic scene with Bruce Lee just getting the shit beat out of him by which, Brad Pitt. Which doesn't make a lot of sense. Also doesn't make any sense whatsoever. No, he just changes things. And, and was, is Bruce Lee has his daughter, I think? Yes, she complained she that she was not happy. there was a poor depiction of Bruce Lee. Yeah, because he looked like a giant douchebag that was a fraud. So did Tarantino, like, before this movie, go in and he was like... Who else has a question for the what-if machine? That's kind of the way he does his movies. Like in Glorious Bastards, where, spoiler alert, Hitler dies... Um, yeah. Uh, this wait, one wait, also that's alters spoiler. history. Hitler still dies. Well, he dies it's just earlier. How he dies in a much more painful way than yes. by his own hand. If he's not hiding, still hiding in South America with Elvis, with Elvis, and Tupac and Biggie. Yeah, all and on Pedo Island, and all the aliens from Area No, 51. Tupac and Biggie would never go to Pedo Pe- 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 Island. No, they won't. But they are Elvis hiding. might go to Pedo Island. Elvis might, but they are chilling with the aliens from Area Fifty One who are waiting out that whole storm Area Fifty One thing. What if? We storm Area 51 and we find Tupac and Biggie and Sharon Tate. I think that would be the twist and no one saw coming. No one would see that coming. But, and Elvis and JFK. We and just, we just go to Area 51 and it's like Bill Clinton. <laughs> Come in. Hello. Whoa, no, whoa. we have no, there is nobody here by that name. No, thank you. No, Tupac and Biggie are not here. No, why, no why, aliens. Why is the people in Area 51 foreign? Yeah. They're not foreign. That's just my accent. Well, uh, <laughs> What's your accent? Well, won't you come on in? Or, uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank you. Uh-huh. Why don't you come, you come on, on in? in here? Thank Make you. yourself comfortable. Make yourself comfortable. Anyway. So uh-huh. here, sit down. We got a... Oh, I think a lot of people two, keep oh, ringing my like, doorbell. Look like Tupac just showed up. He's over here. Should, and, uh, should we get back to this movie? No. Why? What is there to talk about? Once upon a time, time in Hollywood. This movie? Uh, I, well, I mean, it follows Rick Dalton, which is DiCaprio's character. I didn't, I didn't do any research on don't this care. movie. I can't tell you anything about it, and I really don't care. I'm pretty about sure it. the preview told you what it was about, which seems pretty boring. Is that two dudes who are like sort of actors, but not really, kind of just hang out and talk and do things. Yeah, right? and then you thought like the Marilyn Man- not Marilyn Manson, Charles Manson and the and cult it- would be integral to the story. Nope. Charles Manson shows up for literally a scene. Yup. And he's like, oh, is this someone's house? No? Okay, see ya. And then that's it. And then uh, at the end, they send some hillbilly cult people to go murder, uh, not Sharon Tate. They go to murder Rick Dalton and his bodyguard. And and that's a bad that idea. That does not end well for them. And that part is fantastic because Brad Pitt fucking destroys them. And then DiCaprio is just chilling, getting drunk in his pool. And then eventually he sees someone fall into the pool and he's like, what the fuck? And grabs a flamethrower and torches them. He just happens to have a flamethrower next to the well, pool, huh? Doesn't yeah. everyone keep a flamethrower next to their pool? In, in his, his shed. shed. Yeah. He just kept a flamethrower. A working flamethrower. That's where I keep that my flamethrower. That sounds fascinating. That's super tight. That's really that's, tight. Yeah, that's Super easy. Bro. Barely an inconvenience. Is this a movie? You can't or? steal other people's bits, though. Is this a movie or a special on Adult Swim? It sounds like Both. a special on Adult Swim. Both. So was it worth watching? No. Would you recommend for anyone else no. to watch? Was Quentin Tarantino no. in the movie? I don't think so. He I didn't fell play asleep special after. guest? Yeah. He Did you been. actually fall asleep? I was almost falling asleep. That sounds sad. Yeah. It's very lonely watching Quentin Tarantino movies alone. It was kind of funny. Yeah, what was so funny about it? I don't remember. <laughs> can you remember a single joke? So uh, I could see that Margot Robbie looks like the third like lead in this movie, but from what I heard, much. she's not in the movie. No, no. So that's she's just... not naked either, which was sad. Mm, very sad. I would, I would like her. Naked. Do you know who her husband was? Roman Diddle Polanski. Yeah, and what was why is Roman Polanski not in the United States? He raped Natalie Portman. He did not rape Natalie Portman. If only there was anything fulfilling about this movie but there just isn't i'm trying to make i'm trying to connect some dots here though nothing nothing redeeming at all about once upon a time in hollywood everyone thinks that quentin tarantino just does amazing work because of a name but this movie proves once and for all that he's not as good as everyone thinks he is would you watch an r-rated star trek if he made it and there's no 
Probably. Does that sound like something you'd want to see? I don't think so. I. No, we've seen R-rated Star Trek. It's called um, uh, uh, Babylon uh, Five. No, um, Starship Troopers. We did see that. You know, and I, there are bugs. And they in did it. a couple of it. And they did a couple of them. So they've already done a few Star Trek R-rated Star Treks. Huh? They did it in Aliens. They did it in Starship Troopers. They did it. You know. In, in the you don't want to see Spock the, use the, the live long and prosper the, in ways you've never thought of before? I, I've used it, and it does work, by the way. Oh, but, it does. Oh, it does. The Spocker does work, but make sure you lube up properly because going in dry never works. Mm. But, I mean, even even the last season of Archer does an R-rated Star Trek. Do it's they? It's been done. It's. I have no interest in seeing Quentin Tarantino's version of it. Okay, so you don't want to see green aliens no, banging? No, I don't care. I can go to Pornhub Premium and find that. Ah, I'll okay. steal, I'll, actually, I'll steal Noob Noob subscription to Pornhub Premium and go find that. Supposedly, oh he's only doing one more movie, so we'll see. And we won't go is see he, that either. Is he, though? Because he already has the easy out where Kill Bill was one movie, so it gives him two more to do. He's already given himself an out. Yes, he is. And then he'll just say, I never actually made Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That was actually yeah. Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Yeah, that movie doesn't count, so uh, we're going to go ahead and... and Is he still friends with Robert Rodriguez? Movie. Does anyone know that? Who cares? Where? Somebody cares. Wow, Nobody you cares. Just, you just went down all of a sudden. Wow. Yeah. Who cares? What, what happened to you? I don't know. Like, like you were so up a set ago, and just you just dropped. I'm a little constipated. Oh. Mm. Wow. I got to poop. That's not. That's the opposite of constipation. I gotta. I wanna poop. No, don't play any music. We'll get thrown off the air. <laughs> don't play popular songs. Uh. So you can I play guess it to thirty seconds. <laughs> I guess that's it, huh? Uh. Yeah. That's, that's your review. I guess yeah. so. Noob Noob doesn't care anymore. So we'll just go ahead and wrap this up. It's. It, it was a movie that I saw, but not really. So there's nothing. You good didn't about really it. see it. I saw it, but not really saw it. Were there it. lots of cameos? There was there? I yes, there know. was. We just didn't care to mention them. And you Oh, didn't. Kurt Russell. Kurt he, Russell? He's in there. Yeah, was he Stuntman Mike? He he was somebody. Oh, really? Sure. Do you know what happens to Stuntman Mike? Does he get raped? No, he does not. Does he do drugs? No, he's in another movie. What movie? By Quentin Tarantino. <gasps> Kill Bill? No. Oh. Good God. He Pulp was in Fiction? The, no. No. Inglorious Bastards. No. Does he actually kill Hitler? He does not. Okay. What? I don't know what other movies. It's one of the Grindhouse movies. He did. Quentin Tarantino did is Grindhouse? It called, it's not called Bulletproof, is it? What the hell is that it wasn't, called? That was Robert Rodriguez. Mm. No. Robert Rodriguez made know. the zombie movie, Planet Zombie or some crap. I don't know. I stopped paying attention. The, the movies he did that had, um, uh, what's that, uh, the big Mexican dude's name? The one with all the tattoos? Machete? Yeah, Machete. You mean uh, Danny I mean, Trejo? Yeah, Danny Trejo. I enjoyed the ones that had him in Robert it, Rod- but... He was only in Robert Rodriguez movies. He's not in any Quentin Tarantino movies. Wait, Machete wasn't Tarantino? No, that's Robert Rodriguez. Oh, that's why I enjoyed it. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. So you like Robert Rodriguez better than Quentin yes. Tarantino? I'd say so, yeah. Okay. At this point, probably. Well, Death Proof is the name of the movie you were looking for. Ah. Death Proof. And that's Quentin Tarantino. Yes, and he plays Stuntman Mike where he murders women in his car. And the answer is... With his car. proof. Literally smashes them to pieces in his stupid car. It's kind of a stupid movie. So, there you go. And he wasted one of his ten movies on that. Yep. He did. Huh. That's neat. Yes, I Planet bet. Terror would be the Robert Rodriguez movie you were thinking of. I put, I, I, I'll put money down that he backs out a whole one more movie bullshit and just, oh, I need money, I'm going to make some more. Yes. I can always put money on that. Well, he did almost kill Uma Thurman in a stunt, so that's a thing. That's his fault. There's a Fallout Boy song called Uma Thurman. Is there? Fun Does fact. she almost die in it? She probably. Probably. Was she driving a car? Who cares? I'm just asking. Let's just end this. Let's just quit while we're ahead. Uh, we can keep going since someone uh, has the opposite of constipation. I have Who? reverse constipation. <laughs> Who? I'm so shitting out of my gills. If you like what you heard here this week, and I'm questioning that now. You can go over to Instagram and follow us at ORK underscore U. That is O-R-K underscore U. Go over to YouTube and search Our Reviews Will Kill You. Find plenty of videos there. You can go over to Facebook.com slash Our Reviews Will Kill You. 
And of course, as always, our reviews will kill you is brought to you for free thanks to our friends over at scottwillkillyou.com. Yes, scottwillkillyou.com, your one-stop shop for videos and content and podcasts and... You know I'm making shirts? Who's making shirts? I'm making some shirts. Why? For, for fun. What? For funsies. For fun? For fun. Yeah, why not? What I'm are making, the shirts of? I'm making shirts. One is the production logo. Is the the studio logo, of course. Um, I have another one that just says scheduled coitus, because everyone needs to use the term scheduled coitus. Oh, more. okay. So you can get gifts at so, Scott Yes, Keebler. you can get gifts. And you know, I might, can you I like sign up for our, our guest list yet? I think or our email I'm list? going to have to set the email list up. Mm, instead of making shirts, maybe you should be doing that. Or maybe you should have been doing that. Mm. As well, some other stuff we talked about last week, but I have kind of dropped the ball. Maybe you should talk some husky ladies. I was not all some other things. I got confused and delayed on stuff. So, yeah, <laughs> so, so, so there's more stuff coming, of course. And, of course, go to scottwillkillyou.com. For plenty of content and fun shit and everything else. Uh, plenty of ways to kill time. Our friends over there at Legion of Lunacy, videos from Scout Killer Productions, and uh, links to uh, the stuff I've done with Blue Iron Productions. So there's Ooh. all that as well. So scoutwillkillyou.com, because Scout will kill you with content. Content. So from all of us here at Doctor Who Will Kill You, Doctor Ork, Hork, Hork, Doctor Hork, 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 you, Hork, you, Hork, you, Hork, you, will kill you. We love y'all. 